Okay. Welcome to Green Vineyards, upscaling winery staff, responding to the challenges of climate change. It's an Erasmus project co-financed by the EU, coordinated by UNIR, Universidad Internacional de la Rioja, Spain, with different European partners. CESAR, Centro per lo Sviluppo Agricolo e Rurale, Italia, FIV, Federación Española del Vino, IECE, Institute for Research and Environment, Civil Engineering and Energy, North Macedonia, IFV, Institut Français de l'Avenir et du Vin, and uh, Bodensee Stiftung in Germany. Okay. Why upscaling for responding to the challenges of climate change? are essential for the winery's work workforce and for surrounding society to ensure a positive ecology fo ecological footprint of the activities carried out in wine sector, to prepare for the skills demanded by green jobs, and to ensure that industry and workplaces do not face a shortage of adequately skilled workers, so upscaling is therefore a must. The project and its results are available on the dedicated Green Vineyard website. The first result is a guide translated in six languages and which contain, uh, contains a dedicated competence framework and matches best sustainable practices identif identified and collected across Europe following consultation with key sector stakeholders. The green uh, competence, uh, the green competence, the green vineyard competence framework is based mainly on the green comp, that is the European competence framework for sustainable development, that help to design competencies by promoting ways of thinking, planning, and acting with empathy, responsibility, and concern of for our planet. Fifteen competencies were defined into four areas to form the Green comp Vineyard Competencies Framework as following area overall knowledge of cli about climate change with awareness, adaptation, area environmental management focus on climate change with water, soil, waste, biodiversity, emissions reduction, energy efficiency, area wine culture and society, from a climate change perspective with local and historical knowledge, sustainable production competencies, and area green competencies relevant to the sector with valuating, valuing sustainability, system thinking, critical thinking, problem framing, and future literacies. As an example of competence, that of climate change awareness, this competence includes its descriptor, knowledge as concepts and facts, skills as implementation capacity, and attitudes as and sorry, and attitudes as self-involvement to what is at stake. The second result of Green Vineyards project is a document environmental courses, models, and contents. This document brings together the methodology and process followed, prerequisites, challenges and objectives, the courses divided in modules and units. Welcome to Green Vineyards course. This learning experience aims to increase the efficiency of wine sector workers in meeting the challenges of climate change. If you are a worker in the fields, a manager in a winery, or in any other agriculture business, or you are just interested in these topics, this course is for you. The Green Vineyards course is composed of 13 units, available in 6 different languages. Every unit has 3 different levels, from basic knowledge to more advanced content. We have designed 4 learning parts to address different needs, where you will have the flexibility to choose your own path. What 
is expected by June 2024 and beyond. By June, courses will have been tested and put online. Creation of the Green Vineyards Online Learning Hub containing multimedia resources center, self-assessment, self-assessment and recommendation tool for the most appropriate training itinerary, complete set of tailored training material to acquire that the identified competencies, free access 24 hours a day. And beyond foreseeable tangible results would be facilitate access to training uh, for all workers in the one sector, raise awareness of the impact of climate change, improve climate knowledge of rural communities, and disseminate, disseminate the knowledge created throughout Europe. My acknowledgement go to financiers, one in one sectors, stakeholders, partners, and coordinators. Thank you for your attention.